are you guys doing? Great, Good. how are you? Really you? really good. I loved you guys in the movie, my two favorite characters in the film. I wanted to know, um, Danielle, what was your favorite Taraji uh, moment? In the film, and also Taraji, what was your favorite Danielle moment? Oh, I told her this one earlier. No lie, when when Mister pops you on the butt, <laughs> he pops you on the butt, and he takes her, and she dips, and Celie looks at her, the dip in her <laughs> eyes. Oh my God, I was just like, it was so like that, the only person who could do something like that is her. And that's something when I was telling her, whenever I get to do a romantic comedy or romance anything, I just want to do that dip and pay mm -hmm. homage to that dip because that gives me everything. But also her eyes, like if you watch her too in the scene with, um, when you, when the dad dies, um, mm -hmm. Dion Cole's mm -hmm. character dies, and you see um, you talking to Tamla Man, mm -hmm. and she's like, gone, you, this ain't the time to talk to your dad and you do this thing <laughs> with your eyes. <laughs> She's just, a, that's where you, like, so much of your storytelling is in your eyes. Thank you so, so much. There, yeah, I love those two moments. For me, um, I'm, I like to watch the nonverbals, and this one stole my heart and Chelsea. Mm. Mm, thank you. To see somebody so strong be so broken. I know so many people like that, and I got the thing is happening right here where it gets hot. <laughs> you just nailed it, baby. And, and you was looking down like this and rocking. And when she spoke about your children and you lifted your eyes up, I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. I could not. Thank you, sis. Taraji, I know this is out of topic, but I want to know, like, because you played the iconic cookie line in the, in the show Empire. I want to know if you had to, like, drop all your artists from that label and to sign her, Sierra, our Fantasia and Holly, would you do it? Would Cookie do it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, in a heartbeat, right now. <laughs> Wait, take off your bag, like you're gonna be here for a minute. You <laughs> said that's part of his style. Yeah, it's part, it's part, part of his style. Just part leave me alone, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you guys in the movie. Well, I'm not really your character. What? Okay, oh, just I love, <laughs> went down I love your, I love, I love, I love your performance, uh, your character, you know, we all know. <laughs> oh, but you guys did an excellent job. Really <laughs> Thank you. Movie. Uh, Corey, I'll start with you. Okay. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, <laughs> but uh, you you know, we got to see a little dancing, vocals. How was that, like, whole process in that, during that scene? Oh, man, it was great, man. Uh, Harpo is, uh, I love that brother. He's, uh, he is, I see him like as a little bit, it's like a friend, you know? I wanted to take care of him. Um, Blitz gave him a work song in this um in this and uh, it was just great, man, to be able to step into that Fatima Robinson choreographed. Um, and I think Harpo's work song is just all about his love for Sophia. And if he could sing it loud and proud, he's going to. You know, he uh, uh, he makes a, a choice in that moment when he sings to to defy his father, you know, and to and to and to choose a different path of love, loving his black woman his black queen, and um, and I stood on that, and I loved that about him. He decided to build his woman a house. Oh yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes from your Thank movie. Thank you, thank you, brother. Um, Coleman, for you, you know, what role do you believe that forgiveness plays in Mr.'s journey and the overall message during the film? You know, I think that's a very important thread. I think I, I wanted to help build a character that was complex and had some moments of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So by the time we got to the place where he has to have some accountability, and then he's trying to do good in the world. He's trying. And I think on the try, whether he can articulate what he hopes to get is forgiveness in some form, you know? Um, so I think, but, it, but it's a long journey for him. I think he's one of the most unevolved characters. Um, everyone, the whole, everyone else is evolving much at a quicker rate than he is. But I think it's almost like that, that, you know, that term when people say, you know, it doesn't matter when you wake up as long as you do wake up. So I think, but he wakes up. Well, I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. I went to school. Because <laughs> <laughs> this movie had like so many things to it. Was there any scenes that were cut out that you wish made the film? Absolutely. My whole. <laughs> my no, but there were there were some moments and nuance that were trimmed, but but that's with any that's with any film. But I feel like. I think what they, they keep distilling down to re remind what is this actually about? True. What is it? What is this about? They're from the Broadway musical to to our experience, thirteen songs I believe yeah. were, were cut, so it had to live in its own space and find its own way. 
Mm -hmm. You know, which I think is, you know. And there were things that also were added in uh, that that uh, actors had to fight for. I think, um, and uh, even I think Danielle's um, dinner table scene. Some of that was not that she. They were thinking about cutting some of it, and and you know, we all had moments like that where we had to advocate for our character. advocate. Yeah, yeah. exactly, hundred mm -hmm. percent. You did amazing in this film. Thank you. Like, you did really amazing. I thought, kind of looked up, I did my little research. Okay. You went from writing a TV series, Grease, Pink, the Pink, the Pink Ladies, mm -hmm. and then now you're in one of the most anticipated films of the year. Yeah. How was that transition? Uh, short. I had a month. I wrapped that writer's room, and a month later I was on a flight to start rehearsals. Um, but I'm grateful for that because I had become, I feel like, a master at storytelling through the medium of writing. And all that did was inform how I was going to approach this character. You know, I was asking more questions and trying to get into the intent behind first Alice Walker's work and then Marcus Gardley's work with the script. Why are they, why is she saying this in this way? You know, what is the intention? What is the question someone's trying to answer? What are they trying to find out in the scene? So it just informed both of them. Did you ever find it like difficult though? Like once you arrived, cause like you only got like a month. Oh, yeah. And there were definitely days on set where I was like, can I change this line? <laughs> um, well, I would write this. Um, but it's so great because Blitz, our director, we sometimes would have to collaborate on scenes. You know, it's a big film and there was a lot we wanted to do. And at certain points, there are some things that weren't necessarily working. And he would ask me, is there a way we can get this information out faster? And I'd put on the writer's hat and be like, OK, if they do this, 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 we'll get it. Or you can actually not say this and you can actually just see it in the expression of the character. Character, which is in me as an actor coming in and saying, I don't have a line anymore to express this emotion. How can I just get it out with my eyes or with my face or with my body? Yeah. All right, I got a fun one for you. If you could okay. like start a band with all this with all this amazing cast members, uh -huh. what would the band name be and what would be your role in the band? What would the band name be? And what would the, okay, the band name is called You Tried It. <laughs> That's the name of the band <laughs> because all of them have tried it. You tried it. Um and in this band, I'm the lead singer. Okay. I like you know, it. Fantasia is back up. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like Please it. don't tell her I said that. <laughs> also, my last one for you, I, yeah. being a writer, I want to know, like, let's say they had to change the script or do, like, an alternate script, and mm -hmm. you had to, like, write from another character's perspective, who what character would you want to write about? Hmm. I want to write from Harpo's perspective. Okay. Yeah. I think Harpo represents the sweetness that are innately in black men that I think sometimes gets stripped away from them. But he somehow is, even if he loses it and tries to hold on, he can't hold on to it, he returns back to it. And I think that journey is so interesting because you see in his father what Harpo could be, but he decides to do something different. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I mean, that one or needies. Oh. <laughs> that, like that whole Africa thing. You oh, and yeah. And, yes. And you know, shit that I've been like, oh. Hey, Blitz. Nice to meet you. Nice um, hey. Amazing movie. I watched it last night. Oh, fantastic. I wanted to know, like, was there ever a moment or a certain scene on set that you realized, oh, we got a good movie here? Oh, wow. That's a good one. Um, we got a good movie here. I would say that final shot. When everybody's holding hands around the tree, we shot it probably day three or four. We shot it very early oh. in the sequence. Yeah, yeah, very, very early. We didn't, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. We just went for <laughs> it. But I remember looking at the frame when the camera pulls out and you have all these people around the tree holding hands. And I remember just going, if we can just keep this energy throughout this film, we will really have a masterpiece. No, oh, that's amazing. I did not tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> With all those people. Yep. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, also, if you could have, uh, if you could go to dinner with three characters from the Carl Purple, who would you want to go to dinner with and what would you guys discuss? That's a good one. Uh, first, for me, it would be Harpo. So I feel like Harpo's cool as hell and will kick it. You know, I think, I think he'll understand <laughs> a lot. I, I, I see Harpo as a peer of mine. Um, I think it would be Suge Avery, because I think she'll be wild as hell, and she'll just <laughs> everything she'll say will be off the wall. But I also think it will be Celie, so I'd like to really understand how she made it through all of that 
insanity. Um, and I think, yeah, I would be very curious. Okay, let's say if you have like do your next film and you need three singers, because there's a lot of singers in this like Indeed. movie. If you need like three living musicians to be like you star in your next film or just your next dream project, who would you want to have in there? Oof, three dream Andre three thousand. Oh, got him on a shirt. Oh, that's Andre. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, now, now, now I feel silly for saying Andre. <laughs> but I did not even see that. Okay, well Andre still. Because Andre's top three that are alive for me. Um, I think I would want. Ah, I'm having to think. I think I want. Uh, I think Mary J. Blige. I think Ooh. Mary's got a thing that I, I I've seen in in movies, and I just I I I would love to work with her one day. Um, and then Thundercat. Okay, I like that. I think Thundercat is out there. I think it'll be incredible. 